All right, gang, we're getting live for MLM Monday. Going to be answering some questions today. Going to be excellent. All right, let's go ahead and just pull up the feeds here real quick. Here, one moment. We'll make sure this is shared so everybody can get on and join the live session. All right, fantastic here. One moment. All right, we'll get that all shared and set up. All right, fantastic. Well, if you're just joining us or if you're watching on the recording, we're starting a brand new live streaming show each Monday uh, to walk through some of the questions people are asking about MLM companies or about strategy for their companies today. Um, if those of you that haven't had a chance to tune in before, uh, my name is Ben Dixon and I'm the CEO at Naxum. Uh, Naxum is a software providing company that's been providing marketing systems and commission engines and tracking systems for over 40 MLM companies for the last 17 plus years. We have a wonderful team that gets to work on the back end of a lot of projects. So if you've, if you've looked through companies in the industry, there's a whole number of vendors and people that come together to make these companies a reality uh, for, these, for all the reps and everyone involved to be able to start creating results in their life. And our team has been blessed to be a part of a lot of great projects like that. So today, with MLM Monday, we're going to take some of your questions. People have been asking some questions in, and I have some stories uh, of clients this week that I think a lot of people go through that are important pieces when you're looking to really grow your company to another level. So uh, one great one that came up this week that I think is really important for those of you who had two different clients in this situation, they're saying, what do you do when you've had a company, you've had it for a really long time, and you're in a situation where you have declining sales? So you may have gr grown in the past, you may have had momentum in the past, but right now you're not in that place of momentum. Well, there's a lot of changes that happen to get people back into momentum. One of the things we do all the time is put together a system or a platform of technology in place that makes the opportunity not feel daunting for people to get started again. And even then, after putting a new system in place, that's something that you have to actually communicate to the field and lead by example with. And we had a great client in the space who was asking me earlier today, even what do you do after the system's in place to actually invite people to uh, start creating more success in their lives and to grow the distributor base again of a company. And sometimes if you don't have that key person on your internal team, you have to bring in someone, and I think it's mandatory every time that's leading the initiative of recruiting new uh, advocates or ambassadors or IDOs, whatever it is you call that position at your company, don't just leave that up to uh, the master distributors or the leadership team of the company. Be sure that you have someone at corporate whose task is to be growing that field leadership, whether they're out doing trainings or whether they're out personally recruiting people on LinkedIn and plugging them into that field leadership team. I'm not saying that there's someone on corporate who has a position in the downline, but someone who's actually out there putting those teams together is just a critical part. We see that happen a lot of times at older companies where you may have people in operations, you may have people doing marketing materials, you may have people um, developing product, but you're missing the fact of someone who's actually out there developing the field. You want to make sure that that's in place in your checklist and that those real activities are happening. You know, uh, Grant Cardone has a fun saying that says, who's got my money, right? And so if you think about it, who, which are your customers? Who's got your money? And are you doing activities that are talking to those people every single day? Are you doing activities that are getting to those folks every single day? And that's a real great question to ask. Another one that's come up is it, for those of you that are really looking at your company and some past stuff, maybe you've been watching some of the news from last year on Vima or some of the news on, on Trivita or just a whole bunch of companies in the space, and you're talking about these customer to distributor ratios. Okay, many of you may be um, concerned about that for your business or be thinking about that for your business. And my question for you is do you have a real retail plan in place? And this is something that a lot of people may not be thinking about is that many times you might just have a replicated website, but the majority of the information and the majority of the training you do is on recruiting other representatives instead of actually selling product retail. Now, I know for those of you that are watching in party plan or, or in those parts of the industry, you do a lot of retailing. But for those of you that are in traditional MLM, many times this part can get overlooked. And the key is to have a real retail plan in place. And there's a lot of things you can do to have a real retail plan in place. And it starts with just the intention of having a plan. Okay? 
And if you have a plan up front, and we just walked a client through this exercise right now, um, you, you identify who that perfect customer would be as a retail customer, and you create a plan to get to them, whether it's sampling or whether it's um, a product experience like a 30-day or 60-day or 90-day challenge or whether it's a free trial of a product. Um, all of that comes in place. And so what we'll do today on our MLM Monday is we're going to walk through an exercise together for you to identify who your perfect customer is. All right, there's three basic questions you get to ask. You can go ahead and grab a pen and paper if you're here on the live and jot this down for yourself and your company, or you can go ahead and just take some notes. And, and the key here, folks, is to understand that it doesn't matter if you are a traditional MLM company that is selling physical products, or if you're selling digital products, or if you're a direct sales company, or if you're a party plan company, and you're selling a service, right? No matter what your product mix is, or what your style of marketing is, there, there is a congregation of people out there that are congregating around the need that you fulfill. And so let's talk about how to find them. And there's a couple assumptions up front when we talk about a re real retail customer acquisition strategy that you're going to hear in the exercise that I walk you through. And it's important that you identify the assumptions because it's going to help you do this even better. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Ready? Number one. Okay, number one. What motivates people? Now, the assumption with the question, what motivates people, is that the type of person we're looking for as a retail customer is the person who prayed for your product or service this morning, the person who just has the intention of they want what you have, right? So usually, if they're motivated like that, and they're going to make a decision and pay now, and they have your money, right, that person's motivated by pain, right? So for the first question, number one, what motivates people? Write the word pain, okay? And number two question is, what do people who have these pains already do to solve them? So for question number two, write down, what do people who have these pains already do to solve them? So you, what you want to think about here is the pain that you identified that your perfect customer is looking to solve, what are the things they're already doing to solve them? I'll give you a great example. Let's say you sell a physical product that helps people lose weight, right? So something people might be doing are different diets, right? Different workout programs, right? And there's all sorts of ones outside of MLM and direct sales. They may be trying, might be eating a paleo diet. They might be doing the Atkins diet, might, might be doing the master cleanse. They might be getting into yoga, or they might be getting into Muay Thai fighting, whatever it is, right? They're going to be doing different stuff because their goal was to lose weight, right? They had a pain around their weight, right? Go ahead and write down for yourself, take a moment, the pains in your client's life and what that really is. Make sure you got four or five there. You should have a couple. All right. Okay, let's go ahead then and come to the third question. This part's going to be really key. Is number one, what types of pains motivate people? Pain. Number two, right? What types of pains, right, have motivated people? So we, number one, people are motivated by pain. Number two, right, what are people doing? You know, what, are, what are these pains in their life, right? So the third question and the most powerful is what do people who have these pains already do to solve them? So here's the real key. What do people who have these pains already do to solve them, right? So if their pain of wanting to lose weight is that they're out of energy, or they don't feel attractive, or their, their doctor told them they're gonna die if they don't lose weight, right? Or number two. Or number three is they're doing something to solve it. They're congregating around something, right? They're doing a diet. They're working out. They're doing a plan like that, right? Number three is the key. These, this is where people are congregating. So if you wanna grow your retail customer acquisition strategy, you wanna have a simple plan to reach out to people who have already congregated around these things. So if you had a weight loss supplement, and you would say, oh, you've tried the Atkins diet? Have you ever heard of X, right? Oh, if you had a uh, service, right, like travel, right, in the system. Oh, I see you're into travel. Have you ever heard of blank, right? Do you travel as much as you want to? Oh, you don't? Have you ever heard of blank? Is it because of the money, right? If you, you can think of any other services like uh, education. Some of you sell online marketing education or real estate investing education. Right? So there's congregations of people who are passionate about online marketing or real estate investing, but they haven't yet 
earn the money they think they're worthy of in those niches, right? So you can go to those niches and congregate there and then ask that question, right? Who's looking to take their game to the next level? What is it that you're looking to achieve in your career? Why haven't you gotten there yet? Perfect, right here. So what does that look like in a real retail customer acquisition strategy? Well, if it's a physical product, there's all sorts of paid sample programs you can do, whether it's anything from weight loss supplements to essential oils to, to someone having an energy uh, snack, whatever that is in their life that you're going to help with, or just their total health, you can have a sampling program around that that gives them a taste where, that they pay for that you then can go back to them and resell them your larger package for them to truly become a month-to-month -month customer uh, for your business. What if you're selling online um, education, just in those earlier examples? Well, you can always do a free class. So you can have an online class or an online um, piece that's put together that they can register for to create a free account. And once they've taken that course, you can then go back to them and upsell the next piece. The key is that we have a real retail plan in place. And you have materials and training around it. This is the part that most companies miss, is not only do we want to give them a retail offer, what we were just speaking about for the last few moments, we then want to give the actual field content to get people to that offer and, and help close afterwards. That's where the speed concept comes into play. And the, we get to talk about this all the time at Naxon with clients, and speed's an acronym that applies to any company in direct sales or network marketing. So if you haven't heard of speed yet before, go ahead to naxon.com. You can download the free guide. This acronym will change your life. It's the idea that you have to share, present, enroll, elevate, and duplicate. See, these five activities happen in every network marketing and direct sales company. The key is what systems do you have in place to do that? So when it comes to a real retail customer acquisition strategy, right, and you start looking at that, and you look at it for real in your life, it's more than just the offer of becoming a retail customer. You want to have stuff people can share, right? The first letter of speed S to get people to that offer, which is P, it's the presentation, right? And after people go, if they don't buy, we want to help people close them. So have tools to help them enroll. We don't have time to cover it on today's live stream, but if you have a moment, check that out. I'll put it a note in the comments to a link where you can download a guide where you can see a comprehensive PDF on what speed could look like at your business. All right, now I've answered the questions that have already come in. Let's take our last two minutes and see if there's any other questions from the viewers. So there's a bunch of you on live. Go ahead and just post below if you got any questions for those of you that are live. All right. Excellent. And if you are watching on the recording and you have additional questions about MLM that you'd like to get answered, go ahead and just type them in in the comments below and we'll be sure to address them on our next MLM Monday live stream. Thank you so much, folks, for being here. Have a wonderful day. We're looking forward to connecting with you in the marketplace. See you soon. Bye.